Hello lovely ones, so today I'm back for another video and it's another makeup tutorial for today and I didn't really know what I was going to do when I sat down and filmed this video, I just wanted to just have fun because I'm kind of lacking inspiration, I've been looking at like inspo pics on Instagram and I just don't, I don't know, I just feel like not creative like with makeup so I just wanted to have fun with my makeup and this is what I came up with, hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial so yeah let's get started. So for moisturiser today I'm going to use the La Roche-Posay Hydrogen Riche Moisturiser and this is a bit more on the richer side but it hydrates your skin really really well. Then I'm just going to quickly spray this Mario Badescu facial spray, I think it's the rose water one and aloe vera. Um, and then I'm going to grab this Makeup Forever Cream Camouflage pal Palette <laughs> in the number 4 and I'm going to use the orangey shade to colour correct and I've been loving this orange shade to kind of correct the darkness around my mouth area because I get super ashy in that area. Then for foundation I'm going to use the EX1 Invisawear Liquid Foundation in the shade F400 and the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC40 and I'm going to mix the two because the EX1 is a bit dark and when I mix the NC40 of the MAC one it just created the perfect shade for my skin tone. Now I did use a rich moisturiser today because the MAC Studio Fix Fluid is kind of heavy and more for oily skin types and as you all know I have dry skin so I felt like this made a really nice combination and the shade fit me perfectly and yeah, so now onto the eyes. I'm going to grab this number 7 Trio Concealer and I'm going to take the darkest shade in the Trio and apply this all over my eye as a base. And then I'm going to set it in with a, a matte eyeshadow from my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. I'll write the name in the info box. You can use any um, matte cream or white bone shade to set your concealer or eye makeup primer. Now I'm just grabbing this dark warm brown shade to create a crease and I wish I went a bit higher on the crease but oh well you learn as you go but I'm just taking a flat definer br brush just to create that crease and then a little fluffy pencil brush to just soften that out a bit I then also grabbed a little fluffy brush to add a little bit more colour on the crease area and bring it up slightly and create kind of like a transition. Next I'm going to take this darker brown shade from the same palette and just deepen the crease area a bit more and I'm not going as far up with this one, I just wanted to deepen that crease colour and make it look deeper you guys know what I mean um, and I'm also using another angled brush to do this I wanted to bring the color up a bit higher towards my brow bone but as you can see it did apply a bit patchy so what I did is I took the first brush that I used to set my um, concealer um, which was a matte white creamy shade and it just blended everything out nicely. Now from my Naked 2 palette I'm going to grab this shade called Pistol, it's a nice silvery shade and I'm just applying this with my finger at first and then I took a small brush and kind of brought it up closer to the crease colour. I'm also going to add a bit of glitter and this is the collection Glam Crystals, um, I don't know what shade it is but I'll write it in the info box and I just applied a thin layer of this on, on the silver and um, you don't want to apply too much of this because it kind of doesn't dry properly if you put too much so you want to apply a thin layer or two and then onto liquid eyeliner I'm just using my Maybelline Master Ink Matte Liquid Eyeliner to just create a winged liner. I'm also going to curl my lashes quickly and then for mascara I'm going to use the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara which I love a lot lately and I'm just going to apply a bunch of mascara as always. Now for concealer I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee and I'm also going to mix the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 which is too light but when I mix it with the LA Girl one it just creates the perfect concealer shade for my skin tone and I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend that all out. 
I'm then going to set my concealer using the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm using the yellow banana shade in the palette to just set my concealer in. Going back into the Cream Camouflage Palette by Makeup Forever, I'm going to take this dark brown shade and slightly cream contour. I've been loving using these product, this palette lately because it just makes your skin look super, super flawless. I don't really like to use them for like concealer, like under my eye area, but when you use them on the face, it just looks so flawless. And then I'm going to go back with the um, Makeup Revolution palette and take the dark brown shade and quickly apply that on my lower lash line. And I'm also going to grab my Rimmel Nude Coal Pencil and quickly line my waterline with that to create doll-like eyes. And as usual, I'm just going in with mascara on my lower lashes. Next, I'm going to go on to bronzer and I'm using the 17 Instant Glow Medium Bronzer just to quickly set that cream product that I put on my skin. And as you can see, that Makeup Forever cream palette created a really nice natural like contour. I just love this palette so much. Um, I'm also going to take the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette again and I'm just going to grab the two highlight shades and mix them together and highlight my face basically everywhere. That's what I do all the time, I don't know. But these um, highlighters are so subtle but I feel like when they are subtle is when you can see them the most. I don't know if that makes sense but I just love that inner natural glow sometimes. And then for the lips I'm going to use this Rimmel um, lip liner in the shade under my smell and it's just a pretty purple plum shade and I filled my lips in with that but um, it was kind of applying patchy on my dry area in the center so I just went with um, the Maybelline Divine Wine matte lipstick in the center only and then just apply a bit, a bit more of the liner and that's what I did for the lips. Oh and I also did go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee to clean the edges. It was super easy to do this and it just cleaned like really made the edges look really sharp and your lips look well formed and then the last step of this makeup tutorial was to just set my makeup in i used the rose water spray by mario badescu again and yeah that's all i did for this makeup look i really hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a sweet comment below and i'll see you in my next video bye guys